Now, the lack of adequate water, sanitation and hygiene facilities in schools across northern Ghana is raising serious concerns about the health and well-being of students and teachers. In many schools, community members are also using these facilities, exacerbating the problem. Channel One News visited several schools and found toilets and urinals in deplorable conditions, with students expressing fear of using them. Another original correspondent, Shawana Yusuf, has more. Many community members have resorted to sharing school toilet facilities within the Tamale Metropolis and San Narugu municipality. A visit to some schools revealed their toilets and urinals in unhygienic conditions, with teachers and students blaming the indiscriminate use of the facilities by community members. Students spoke to Channel One News about the impact on their lives. If we get our menstruation, we will not be able to use it because the toilets are not good and the community people are using it with toileting. And if you see inside, it's too dirty. And girls, if you get your menstruation and you want to use it, unless you go to the community, the community people house to use someone's room. We need the help to get our toilet facilities well. Even though when we get to the toilet facilities, we feel scared. We don't have any place to go to toilet. Head teacher of Young Dak Pamili RCJHS, Mr. Nonjenu, expressed frustration over the situation, noting that donors of these facilities are unhappy with their current state. He mentioned that reptiles have taken over the toilet facilities due to their poor condition, causing some individuals to use the urinals to relieve themselves. A lot of snakes have entered through the crack. Inside. So when you go, you will be hunted by snakes, especially the toilet. But the urinal pit, as we said, now because they don't use the, the toilet, they, some, some of the community members now go into the urinal pit to, to escape there. So it has made the place very filthy and then we can also enter there. Meanwhile, NGOs in the northern region involved in providing these facilities for schools have expressed disappointment over the poor maintenance culture. Madam Esther Boating, Regional Programs Manager for Action Aid, told Channel One News that her organization has redrawn its decision to provide new wash facilities to schools. Instead, they would support schools financially to manage the existing ones, believing this approach would improve sustainability at both school and community levels. She made this known to Channel One News during a cash donation to eight beneficiary schools in the Tamale Metropolis and San Narugo Municipality to help reconstruct their toilets and urinals. We've seen that when you go, it's not good you provide. The next time you go, they expect that, oh, the facility you provided is not in good condition. And everybody expects that you come and maintain it for them. So we decided that we will support them. It's just a support to see how they will manage their funds. For sustainability's sake, if they do it themselves, if they go through the process to look for money, if they all contribute to do themselves, they will take good care of it. The chef coordinator at the Sanarugo Education Directorate, Ruka Al Hassan, is hopeful that involving the community in finding a lasting solution to the problem confronting wash facilities and schools would help prevent vandalization by community members. He described the financial support given to schools by Action Aid as timely. Currently, the state of wash in the Sanarbu schools is not different from other districts. But most of them are in bad state due to lack of maintenance. And it's as a result of community vandalization, if I can say. So this donation and then this project itself has come at the right time because community is being involved. The beneficiary schools include Yondatra Mili RCJHS, John Shago Anglican Junior High School, Wayamba RC Junior High School, Kapaile Taskiv Primary. The rest are Yondatra Mili RC Primary, Bene MA Primary, Narung AME Zion Primary, and Banvum Presby Primary. 
stakeholders in education in the northern region have expressed great worry about uh, the recent usage of wash facilities belonging to schools by community members where they are situated. According to them, these community members leave these facilities so unkept and unhygienic for the use of, of a student, making it so uncomfortable for them as and when they have to use them. This has forced an NGO based in the northern region known as Action Age that was into the provision of these facilities to school to rescind their decision to provide these facilities to the schools. According to them, they will only support the schools financially so they can take up the activities by themselves and with the help of community members. This, according to them, might make them own the facility better than when they are being built and handed over to the, the, the schools in question. For Channel One News, my name is Shawana Yusif, reporting from Tamale in the Northern Region.